Hello there, I'm Steve Double and I'm the Conservative Parliamentary Candidate for St Austell and Newquay for next year's general election. And I'm here today at the Cornish Services just off the A30 near Victoria. And this is a great example of the sort of investment we really need in Mid Cornwall that creates jobs, that provides uh, investment to grow our local economy. And that's one of my priorities, that if I become the MP for this area, I really want to work hard to see our local economy grow, to provide better paid jobs for uh, our local people, especially our local young people, and to see average wages rise, because I believe that's one of the most important things we need to see happen in this part of Cornwall. So we've come outside here on another beautiful day here in Mid Cornwall, and it's not been a bad summer actually, has it? We've had pretty good weather, and all of the uh, people in the tourist industry here that I've been speaking to have said it's been a pretty good year for them, so that's really good news. The summer started for Anne and I with our walk to Westminster back in June, when we walked from the Eden Project, the 260 miles, to the House of Commons in Westminster. We did that over 12 days to raise money for two really important local charities, the Cornwall Air Ambulance and the Children's Hospice Southwest. It really was an absolutely amazing uh, adventure for us. The last few days were really difficult but we had such incredible support from local people that it really just kept us going and, and pushed us on to finish that challenge. Since we've been back from the walk we've been hard on the campaign trail right across the constituency delivering literature with my team and knocking on doors four or five days every week uh, talking to local residents and listening to the issues that matter most to them so that if I am elected as the MP for this area next year I'll know what local people want from their MP and how they will want me to represent them in Westminster. I've continued to have the usual visits from government ministers. In August we had a visit from Penny Mordaunt who's a minister in the Department for Communities and Local Government and she has particular responsibility for high streets and coastal communities so I was really pleased to, be able to take her to Newquay in the middle of a, a busy August day to show her Newquay at its best and some of the challenges that we're facing there with the town centre and also to show her the, the storm damage that's still visible there on the promenade down at Town Beach and how we really need to press on and get those repairs done as soon as possible. Uh, we also then had the Secretary of State for Transport, Patrick McLaughlin, who came to uh, speak to a group of people in St Austell and uh, we addressed issues with him to do with public transport and some of the issues we face in Cornwall and also I was able to press uh, on him the, the need for the upgrade to the A391 and bypass Bugle uh, through to the A30 and how absolutely crucial that is for uh, St Austell and the economy in that area and I was really it was really great to get his support for that that we uh, can hopefully deliver that in the com coming years. We really are now in the thick of the campaign and between now and Christmas we're going to be continuing to work hard to, to meet as many local people as possible and to get my message across that I want to represent you as your MP to stand up for this part of Cornwall, to really put local people before party politics and make sure that we do better in St Austell and Newquay. And if you'd like to support me and become a part of my campaign team or a volunteer and help deliver literature across the constituency, then please get in touch. I need lots of help and I look forward to hearing from you.